With ChatGPT or any of the LLMs, you think about control planes versus data planes when we're talking about networking. We have a control plane where I can make changes to the system and a data plane where we transport the data. In the early days of the phone system, this was one piece. Hence the 2600 whistle we used to blow and get free phone calls and uh, all the phone freaking that went on through the 70s and 80s and things around that. Well, we're kind of back to that again with the LLMs because now we have the control plane and data plane being the same thing. All the data is also the same place as all the controls. So as I pound away at these controls, this is why we're seeing all these hacks with the even the latest MCP stuff. I don't know if you've seen ChatGPT announced this morning by the afternoon. There's a guy on LinkedIn. It was awesome. He already jailbroke it. <laughs> He's already found a way to uh, get that. Uh, DEF CON yesterday, someone, uh, or Black Hat yesterday, they kicked off, um, found a way around Copilot to get access inside of Microsoft, like escape the model and get inside where the model runs. So there's a lot of different ways you can kind of coax things out of it. And a lot of it, it, it's just no good sanitization. It's the early days of SQL. We just, we'll just expose SQL. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, SQL injection. That's what went wrong. And that was just like, for years, it took us before we put good security controls and engineering around it. And that's kind of those early days. If you really start looking at people who are jailbreaking and getting around the security mitigations they have, uh, there's we're still in the early days of LMs, and there's definitely people able to shake a lot out of them. 